Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and this is Module 4, Lesson 32. And we're going to do this top problem. It's going to take a little bit. We're still looking at those independent variables and dependent variables, and we're kind of going from the chart to a graph this time. So Caleb starts saving his money in a cookie jar. He starts with $25, so that's pretty important. He adds $10 each week. <clears throat> we're going to write in equations. So that's going to have an equal sign where W is the number of weeks and T is the total amount of money that he earns. So T is our total, that's a T. We're gonna call that our total. And we're gonna call this W because this is our um, number of weeks. Okay, so let me write that a little bit better. My marker, it's W. K S if you're wondering that's number of weeks and this is your what you guys call your hashtag symbol all right so it says determine the variable the independent variable we have been doing that then graph the total amount of cookie amount in the cookie jar for w being less than six weeks okay so when we're talking about an equation it says he starts with 25 dollars so that's he starts with 25 dollars so that's like zero weeks he still has 25 dollars um, as money. So he's going to add $10 each week. So $10 per week. There's our expression and we can set it equal to the T for the total. And now we have an equation. So T equals 10 W plus 25, 25 being the base that he starts with. And for every week he gets that. So the amount of money he earns depends on the number of weeks he works. So the independent variable here is weeks. And the amount of money in the cookie jar is the dependent because the money depends. So we have to be less than six weeks. So one, two, three, four, five. So that works. So now we're going to take this one and we're going to insert it here. So we're going to have 10 times one, which is 10, plus 25, which is 35. We put a two in there. Two times 10 is 20. 20 plus 25 is 45. We can see the pattern here is we're jumping by tens. Okay, so 3 times 10 is 30, plus that is 55. We put a 4 and we have 40, 50, 65, and 5 in, 50 plus 25 is 75. So our pattern here is jumping by 10s. And here's our week. So our equation, once again, T equals 10W plus 25. So starting money, 10 per week. The number of weeks goes here, and that will give us our total amount of money. Now, remember, these are all dollar sign things. So now we're going to graph it. So we're going to start with zero. And on our x axis here, we're going to put our numbers a week. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. And that's all we need there. And then up here, we're going to do our, let's see if we have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. So that's 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75. And we're going to miss this number. If you have room here, slide in. A 55 on this little part but see how it's this 10 pattern right here these are all 10 patterns here let me move this over a tad t equals 10 w plus 25 there we go um and then we can put our 55 in cool so these are all skipping by tens but this is a jump of 25 so we have to do a little thing called a break it's just a little scribble um that goes in there so then we just plot and for every zero, there's still 25. So 0, 25, 1, 35, 2, 45, 3, 55, 4, 65, 5, 75. And as you can see, this is a straight line. Okay. All right. And as always, this is yours truly, Mrs. Bobby. And I love Diet Coke. Oh, yes and math.